information. Come on, come on, come on. I need to volunteer, please. So I'm opening up the iPad, and this is the uh, November 2023, day two station. First time came in exam, and I will tell you that what are my concerns for this station. We are going to have a good feedback on this. So I want a student to be here as a volunteer. And let's go. Samina Zafar is here. Everybody happy that we can take Samina Zafar? All right, let's begin, Samina. So now Samina is going to enter into the cubicle. She would greet me. I will ask her to read the station. And then we are going to take it further. So let's practice, guys. I'm going to start 10 minutes, everybody. You don't have a separate timer in exam. 10 minutes is the presentation time. And 10 minutes, within 10 minutes, is your reading time as well. So the 10 minutes, they start now. So, Mina, you enter into the cubicle first. You have to greet your examiner. Hello, I'm Dr. Samina, one of the exam candidates for today. Come on. Right, ma'am. Uh, I'm ready. Uh, hi, ma'am. I'm uh, Samina, one of the candidates uh, for the exam today, and I'm ready for discussion. Right. Okay, Samina, please read. Ma'am, it's a, it's a, ma'am, it's a patient, ma'am, it's a role play uh, yes. station. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, ma'am, uh, ma'am, you will give examiner give two minutes uh, to uh, somebody. There would not be any. There would not be any two minutes. The ten minutes timer starts when you enter into the cubicle. So you take thirty seconds, fifteen seconds, one minute. It's your. You just say that I'm ready for it. So then this because your time ten minutes they start. There's no separate reading time. Right, ma'am. Uh, I will just start it and I will talk to the role player. Okay, I will. I will start and tell you. See. By this time, you're outside the cubicle, right? You would enter into the cubicle. You're my examiner and say, hello, I'm uh, Dr. Samina. I'm one of the exam candidates for today. So the examiner says, please read your instructions. You start reading your instructions. Once you're done, you say, um, I'm ready, please. Okay. That and means. then you will start talking to the patient. Okay. So now enter into the cubicle by the end. Right, uh, hello, uh, I'm Dr. Uh, Samina. Hi. Hi. Hello, I'm Dr. Samina, one of the candidates uh, today for exam, ma'am. Yes, please, Samina, read your instructions. Yes, ma'am, I'm uh, ready for it. All right, so Mary Williams is with you. Please start your communication. Uh, hi, uh, I'm uh, I'm Dr. Samina, one of the doctor from antenatal clinic. Uh, may I confirm your uh, name and age, please? Hello, hi, doctor. I'm Mary. I'm Mary Williams. I'm forty years. Uh, is it uh, okay with you if I call you Mary? It's absolutely okay, doctor. You can call me Mary. Uh, Mary, I got information that you are 14 uh, weeks and six days pregnant. And you just want to know what is this cell-free DNA uh, test. May I know what's your concern? I don't know. I'm here today because my midwife said that I need to know about this investigation. I'm so worried. I hope everything is fine, doctor. Uh, uh, Mary, actually, uh, this test is uh, uh, done uh, from uh, your blood uh, but before we uh, start to tell you what is this test i would like to know about your some history by taking you question are you ready for that not a problem please but i'm quite anxious today um just confirm that my baby's okay doctor uh, i will i i would be uh, uh, I will be able to answer your question. If you give me some question regarding to your uh, complaint and regarding to your concern, so I will come up with the uh, with the nice answer with you. If you if you would like to give my some question answer, Mary, is it okay with you? Go ahead, doctor. Uh, Mary, is it your first pregnancy? 
Yes, doctor. That's my first pregnancy. Is it a, your planned pregnancy? Yes, it's a planned pregnancy. Uh, your cycle was regular before it? Yes. Did you have uh, your booking with your midwife? I had booking with the midwife. Did you got uh, the scan on uh, your uh, first three months, like 11 to in between 13 weeks? Uh, I had one ultrasound to just check the heartbeat. And then I had another one to date the pregnancy. And uh, yes, I was okay with them. Uh, Mary, is your um, midwife comment about uh, some anomaly or like that did she she give you some clue about that did you have no. idea about that i'm sorry doctor anomaly what do you mean i hope my baby's mary. okay yes mary but I, I just want to know did she comment uh something like that i, I am not saying that your baby no, is, just, have something problem but been, i just okay. ultrasound's been fine nobody told anything to me i'm not sure Right. Uh, actually, uh, uh, I just want to. I just want to ask. Uh, it's a just question. I'm. I'm not saying that. Sorry for that. If you feel uh, bad for that, sorry, very sorry. And uh, tell me, uh, is there any uh, any family your family history like uh, some abnormality in the baby or in in your family? Is there something like that? No, doctor. And uh, would you please uh, tell me, do you have some uh, medical issue like blood pressure, sugar, asthma, like that? Doctor? Is there any surgery uh, in between uh, your pregnancy or before it? Is it? Um, no, pregnancy. I, I never had any surgery and there was no problem at all. It had been going smooth. Uh, do, you, uh, do you have some, uh, some drug uh, allergy? May I know? No, no allergy. And nice. And uh, sorry, but I have to ask: Are you smoker and using any any drug recreation drug? Before before having the pregnancy, yes, but in the pregnancy, I've not had any. Uh, nice. Uh, would you please uh, tell me you are having? Uh, I'm sorry, but I have to ask uh, uh, a nice la domestic life uh, with your partner. That's okay. He's so he's so excited to be dad. We have been waiting for so many years to have a baby. Eventually, he just got pregnant, so he's super happy. Nice. And uh, uh, would you please, uh, uh, in last two three uh, weeks, so you feel some regrets and hopeless, like? No, doctor. I'm so happy to be a mom, and I'm so excited to have a baby. We have had so many things. We 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 bought all the clothes. Even I mean, we are so we are so happy to be parents. And uh, uh, nice, Mary. Uh, this uh, you are referred to uh, do this test because uh, at your age, uh, this test is simply uh, uh, from your blood. We need not to do any uh, any uh, surgery on your tummy to get some material from your baby or fluid. Uh, but this test will tell you uh, either you uh, have your baby have some uh, chromosomal that the genetic material maybe get some abnormality. It's an easy test which we, which will be done on your blood, uh, and uh, it can have. Uh, as some idea about your uh, genetic material test, abnormality. Sorry, Which test? Uh, Ma'am, ma uh, sorry, uh, Mary, it's from your blood. Mary, would you please tell me uh, what's your blood group and what's your husband blood group? Sorry, I forgot to ask from, from you. Sorry, I'm sorry. Be positive on um, my husband. I'm not very sure. Um, I'm a positive though. Uh, right uh, and uh, we will uh, take this blood from your uh, we will take blood uh, from you and there there are uh, some uh, fetal cell in your blood as well there are tests which we can do on this uh, uh, fetal uh, cells and uh, we will get some genetic material from that cell as well 
and uh, from that genetic material we can have the study about uh, that your baby is okay and uh, we can um, go smooth happy. Uh, happy there have been a report i mean they've already taken the blood samples few days back i'm here to know about the report doctor Ma'am, report was not there. Ma'am, I didn't see the report. Can you see the screen? Ma'am, this is our, oh my God, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, report, where is report, ma'am? <laughs> this is how the report was in exam, girl. Ma'am, this is the report in front of me, ma'am. Yes, this is the report in front of you, girl. Right, ma'am. I have to explain that. Ma'am, ma this report I have. I'm so anxious. My midwife said that you need to talk to me about the report. How's my baby? Is everything all right? She said that there's some some concern. What happened, doctor? Ma'am, but the reports are not telling that either she has trisomy or not. This is copy paste which has come in exams. I mean, I'm not going to tell anything. I'm not an examiner. I am Miss Mary. Come on. Uh, 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 Mary, uh, the uh, your report is uh, fine. And uh, 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 this test uh, is irrelevant. Ma'am... I don't know what I have to do further, ma'am. Uh, this is trisomy 18, more than 99% sensitivity, ma'am. Uh, I can't read this report exactly. Okay, so I'll help you with this. So uh, you have to tell her that it's uh, it's trisomy 18, suspicion, and you're going to take towards the diagnosis. So how would you explain that, sweetie? Very good, Mavahir, um, very well done. If I do it, okay. So just go ahead. I'll explain that to you later. But just talk to the patient and tell her that this is what we expect in the report. Uh, yes, Mary, your report is telling that there is some genetic abnormality that is called uh, in in medical term that is called trisomy eighteen, which is uh, we have chromosome forty six, and uh, uh, in forty six uh, there is uh, uh, a the number eighteen in which there is some when there is some abnormality. Uh, we uh, uh, we get the abnormal baby and don't you worry we we will go further for invasive test invasive test mean that we will take uh, some uh, fluid on uh, after 15 weeks or we will take some uh, your uh, uh, puppy piece from placenta and uh, we will test that placenta mean the organ which supply to the blood to to your baby from mother and uh, we will make the final uh, decision Mary. that either yes, Mary. Is that uh, okay. But is we that have normal? to go for that test. Sometime, sometime there there is uh, uh, one. To that. Are you sure that this is my report? Maybe you're mistaken. Uh, but Mary, please uh, uh, take you please please. Uh, uh, don't you worry. We will confirm it. It is not a confirmed final report. Please don't you worry. I am 40 years. I got pregnant after a long time. And you say not to worry for this baby. And you're saying that my baby has got some syndrome. Oh my. But Mary, it's not, it's not a confirmed uh, test. But we will go for some test. Which will be done uh, on What's your it? baby fluid. It's a mild test. Uh, don't you worry, please. I can. Can you hey, call? My baby uh, uh, can you call to your partner or some friends uh, so we Why? can discuss about this Why? report? Why at the end of the news you're asking for the partner? Why not earlier before telling it was a breaking bad news for you, hi? We asked Students the doctor, when you made her cry, at least give me some tissue papers. Please give me some water. You know, the water water glass was on the table, guys. The tissue box was on the table, guys. <laughs> Mary is super sad to meet you, doctor, today. 
<laughs> okay, thank you very much, my dear. What a wonderful attempt, everyone. Please, a huge round of applause for Samina Zafar for having this courage. This is the biggest thing to have the courage to speak in front of so many people and that too, when we have not started the preparation. I mean, we are yet to start. I'm yet to teach you breaking bad news. I'm yet to teach you that how you have to enter into the cubicle, how you have to exit, how do you beautifully give the applied clinical knowledge. With that, if she has managed this, uh, definitely, definitely hats off to her. Thank you very much. Absolutely. So this thing is a big thing, you know, when everybody was, I was saying that I need a volunteer. So the one who was volunteer, that's, that's such a big thing that you are, you are open to it and you don't have that barrier of speaking. This is the first step of success. When you're not having that inhibition factor that uh, what would be others thinking, how I'm going to just face. This thing, if you just all of you remove from your mindset, from the back of your mind, that what would be the consequence of if I don't know, this is the first step of your success. Very well done, my dear Samina. This is what I expected. And thank you so much. Mistakes are not a mistake until unless you don't realize that what we have to do. I've not taught you breaking bad news, sweetheart. So this is very much expected that everybody, anybody at your place would have done the same. The only thing is that this now, this is the need of an hour that we learn it together because this type of station comes as one SPT. All right. Sure, my dear Mawahib. I'm so grateful. Remember in prayer, sweetie. Thank you very much, my dear. Remember everybody in prayer, sweetheart. Sure, sure, my dear. Thank you so much, Mawahib. Thank you, my dear. All right. So um, all of you, please, I have a very detailed feedback. And then I will do this station as well with you guys so that you guys understand that what are those requirements. Okay. Now, the biggest thing which I had to discuss with you, this came on second day, UAE on 12th of November, and when the station came, the report was not saying that it was Downs, it was Edwards, or it was Toss. Now, the problem was that 50% of the students, they did try only 21 because it was written as the first point, but the sensitivity was only 10%, and uh, they did breaking bad news of Downs. Exactly, yes, this is how it was written. And of course, when you've got less time and the nervousness of the exam is also there, Samina, Mawahe, Baisha, Shazia, Shali. So this is basically what a P is silent, my dear Shali. Yes. So the second thing which you people have to know is that you should be knowing the markers because if they give you the breaking bad news goes wrong, when it's Edward, when it's down, of course, you have to make sure that you, you tell her the right syndrome, what the baby is having. And here it is a suspicion. One thing you all have to remember, I'll have the separate circuit for the breaking bad news. IUFT comes as breaking bad news. Uh, C ovary comes as breaking bad news. C endometrium comes as breaking bad news. C cervix comes as breaking bad news. Now anomaly, NNCAF, NNCAFLE, diaphragmatic hernia, the uh, omphalocele, all these are the breaking bad news exam stations of MRC Payaski. They tend to they tend to ask that in exam. You all should be very, very clear on doing the breaking bad news. Please open up your notebooks and write it down for yourself that no cheerful, no cheerful statements in the breaking bad news station. Uh Samina. So every statement of mine, I was getting a response, which is a very wonderful response, I must say. But in a breaking bad news station, we avoid a gesture like for every statement I was getting in response. Nice, 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 nice. Today, it's nothing nice with her. So every cheerful sound like very good, great, amazing, brilliant. All these we avoid in the exam. Am I clear, everyone? You simply have to say yes and acknowledge. You can do nodding, but we don't do any sort of a cheerful sound, please. Got that? The second thing is when we make an agenda, we don't make big agendas. Like you said that you have got a test, which is self free fetal DNA, and you're here to know about this. We don't do it that way. We make the smallest possible agenda, and I would do it with you guys. The second thing is that... um. We ask questions, but certain words and the formulation of the sentences, Samina, we need to improve just to have 
the betterment in terms of um, in terms of the attire. You would be better, but we need practice in our structure of the sentences. I was happy that you took the history in terms of her primary gravita, about her periods being regular, about her family history, medical history, surgical history, regarding her mental health. That all was very, very good. Now, when we you asked about that question that midwife has informed you about some anomaly, I didn't get that. I got very anxious as a patient on that statement, you know, that what are you trying to say when you were saying that midwife told you about some abnormality or something? Can you expand on what were you trying to say at that point? The, the patient got very anxious on that statement. Uh, Ma'am? Excuse me, ma'am. How we will because it was like I want to ask actually, is there any mm -hmm. soft marker on on eleven or twelve? Okay. Okay. So simple that... statement you have to say is that may I confirm that so far in the pregnancy, all your blood investigations and the ultrasound assessments had been normal. Right, ma'am. Right, ma'am. Are there any concerns informed about any of the investigation to you? Simple. Right. This is the right, this is the sentence which you have to ask. Am I clear, everybody? I was finding. Yes, ma'am. Yes, my love. Ma'am, I was finding difficulty to read this report, ma'am. Uh, yeah, I this, uh, this happened this with report. many students. Uh, you, Samina, contact Nadia. She will tell you that what she did in the station, right? This was her exam station, and exactly right. this is how it was written. And ninety nine percent was bold. You know, so basically what you need to understand in this situation is that how you people can just manage the station. And if you people will just understand that exactly how the exam station is, you people, I want you that the coaching should be of a, of a point that you people understand exactly that the assessment should be uh, very confident. And like you got the second thought, that if something is 10%, something is 18%, then of course 99% that that is that is higher. The chances are that it's Edward rather than Downs. Yes. Second thing yes, is that you didn't do the BBN steps at all. You directly told her that uh, we've got a blood investigation and that shows that this is um this is what the uh what the result is. You always have to prepare her. And what are those right. warning shots? I'll do that now with you. Okay, the breaking back. Actually, ma'am, uh, I, I will tell you what, what I got. I didn't yeah. uh, concentrate on this report. I just read the scenario. And mm -hmm. I just got that. She just want to know what is this cell-free DNA. I didn't uh, concentrate that no. this is the bad, in exam, ba bad news. In 10 minutes, never this would be a station where just one test you will have to tell. Especially, remember... All of you, please, how many SPTs you have in exam simulated patient task? One, ma'am. One. So when you have one SPT, either it would be an angry patient, either it would be a breaking bad news, or it would be a sad patient, or it would be a sensitive patient, or it would be an empathetic case. The case where your communication is being tested would be the one. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Why? Because, of course, there's only one SPT in the entire exam, girls. Yes? SPT is simulated patient task. Aisha Chaudhary, I mean, where the patient is there. Rest, all the examiner discussions are there. Only one role player is there in the circuit. So it has to be where your communication is being assessed. So we expect it to be either a sad news to be breaking bad news or some negotiating station, some angry patient, some some interfering patient. I mean, where your communication is being challenged. Uh, we avoid that. Patients are never dear. Dear comes with emotions and that comes with relation, my dear. Okay, Shazia? Okay, we avoid that for the patient. All right. So Please, then you always yes, have to offer. After breaking bad news, you guys have to offer water. It contains score. Offer tissue paper, it contains score. So we have to be ready. Breaking bad news, are there certain rules for the breaking bad news? There is a warning short number one, which you have to do. I can see that you're here alone today. You always start with this. This is Mary. I can see that you're here alone today. Would you like somebody to be with you? I'm afraid that I have. A difficult news to discuss with you today. Can I proceed? 
then you break the bad news and after that you take two to three seconds pause for absorbing the bad news and if she's weeping off a glass of water into tissue paper Samira that would be on the table it was there in, in every exam it's there if it's not you can say please take these wipes please have a glass of water please let me know when you're okay to talk to me Okay, this is how she's going to start. Got it, my dear? You mold yourself according to the role player response, but at least the warning shot should be there. You never bombard or you never break the news direct. Do you all get this point? Yes. So in these stems, if you, if you just go to my sessions, if you go to my PowerPoint, I will solve everything for you. All the circuits, all the long cases, it would be, it would be elaborate. Hello, I'm Dr. Samina. I'm one of the doctors in the clinic today. May I confirm your name and age? Is it okay? I call you Mrs. Barry. I've gathered from your case notes that you're here today into your pregnancy and you've had an investigation. You're here to know about the results. Am I right? Before discussing your investigation, is that okay that I ask a few questions, Mrs. Murray, to know about this condition better? And then you're going to formulate a management plan. Thank you very much. So can you tell me more about your concerns? You asked a very close question, which was, is this your first pregnancy? Am I right, Samina? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma never do a closed question. Always an open question, please. Why? Because she's got highlighted instructions in front of her. And she has to come up with those instructions. Got it, please? So, can you tell me more about your concerns? Is it a spontaneous and a planned pregnancy? So, is your pregnancy duration accurate with your last periods? Did you take your folic acid? May I confirm that your ultrasounds were done on time? And were they normal? So, your midwife visits had been fine and may I confirm about your blood investigations as well were they normal so were you guided about the reason for this investigation do you have any active complaints of the pregnancy at the moment you can gather from your case notes that this is your first pregnancy is that right so regarding your periods were they regular any any medical history of concern? Any surgeries on the tummy or down below? Any family history of any genetic problems or any developmental problems in the baby? May I ask your weight to height ratio, your BMI? Mrs. Mary, are you smoking, drinking alcohol? Pardon me asking if any recreational drugs you're taking at the moment. May I double check your blood group? Any reservations to the blood transfusion? Are you allergic to any medication? And how did you generally feel in the last few weeks and months? And how's the support at home? Thank you very much for all this information, Mrs. Murray. I'm here to discuss the report with you today. I can see that you're here alone today. Would you like somebody to be with you? Because I've got a concerning news to discuss with you today. The test that has been performed, we call it as a cell-free fetal DNA, in which we take the blood from the mother and that contains some cells of the baby. This blood is taken to test to see the chance of the baby having certain conditions. I'm sorry to inform you that it has revealed that there has been a suspicion for the baby to have some developmental abnormality, which is in the genetic makeup of the baby. We call it as Edward syndrome. Two, three, one. Have you ever heard about this, Miss Murray? Please take this glass of water. Please take these wipes. Do you want me to continue or do you want me to fix another appointment? If you give me an opportunity, I can explain to you that what 
are the next steps in the management? Do you want me to explain the condition further? Mrs. Mary, we all are made up of thread-like structures, which contains the genetic material, the chromosomes. And all the humans, we have got 23 pairs. Out of them, if we have an extra coding at 18, we call it as the Edward syndrome. Are you with me? This makes some abnormality in the baby, and this can have certain differences in the in the structural formation for the baby, like in the head, for the fingers, for the feet. There can be some heart and the kidneys abnormality for the baby as well. The baby can have some breathing difficulties as well. I'm sorry to inform you, but this does have some challenges and we need to refer to the specialist center for the further check and the confirmation. Because it is a test which gives us a suspicion, we can have further confirmation through the needle testing that can be through the afterbirth, but after 15 weeks, we can test through the fluid around the baby as well. Are you okay to proceed further? with these investigations. We can offer you the afterbirth testing, that is CVS. It can give us a clue and confirm the condition. Or we can take the fluid around the baby after 15 weeks of the pregnancy and be sure of the condition. And we can take things forward from there. Is that okay for you? So now, by this time, if she's settled, you can give her the management. If she's not settled, please be slow. If she's not ready to listen to you, your, your, your station is already passing because you've done the breaking bad news. Your management is, once you go with the FMU referral, once you tell her about the CVS and amniocentesis, your job is done. Ask her about if any questions she has. This is what we expect in this situation. If she asks any question regarding the CDS, regarding the amniocentesis, you should be having the applied clinical knowledge. But make sure that you reach to this point because this is the next step for confirmation for the Edwards syndrome. And then if she asks you, what about the baby? You can refer to the baby doctor. You can refer to, to the genetic doctor so that they tell exactly the, what the situation and the prognosis is. She can take a decision of ending up of the pregnancy. She can take a decision of, uh, of continuing the pregnancy and then follow up with the baby doctor further. Both the options, you'll give it to her and your station applied clinical knowledge would be done. Now, if any student has done a breaking bad news of a Downs and then explained a Down syndrome, now you people can expect that applied clinical knowledge would not be passing. You guys tell me that after doing lots of BBN, Sidra Fatma is here. Sidra, happy to see you, my dear. So Sidra, we have done so many breaking bad news. I know you didn't get the seat. So if at all this station has come as a breaking bad news, is this something out of this world? It's not. It's just that we have to be ready for that. Isn't it, everyone? Now, you guys, after I've done this, you, you all tell me, is Edward syndrome something out of this world? It's not. We always expect the basic, basic, some chromosomal abnormalities to be done. You all know this, that what NIPT is. It is a high risk for Edward syndrome. You refer to the fetal medicine. You do a detailed ultrasound, CVS, amniocentesis. You confirm the Edward syndrome, and then you... Give her a choice, a choice of continuing the pregnancy and termination of the pregnancy. This one slide, which I've made in the morning, this is your applied clinical knowledge for this station. That's it. If you come up with beautiful, empathetic words, being sensitive with your patient, you are clearly passing. And we will practice many, many stations of the breaking bad news in the circuit discussion. You people will be master in breaking bad news. Simple one or two slides I will make in the end.
that would give everything. But this is the outline of 10 minutes. See, we have only 10 minutes to complete. That means three and a half minutes of history taking, three minutes of explaining what the condition is, addressing concerns, and then last one to two minutes winding up the station. You all would do beautifully. What I want is that you people prepare these topics the way we want you to prepare. Yes, if you'll just follow, you know why I did this a sample? I will do every station in the record. You will just learn from the record and then you'll stand in front of the mirror and you people would do it. Every single theory would be with you guys. Now, up till now, never in MRCOG, never in MRCPI Edwards came. But see, Downs did come. So the same thing I explained to my Downs patients as well. What's that? We all are made up of thread-like building block cells, which contain thread-like structures, which has the 23 pairs. So when on 21, there is an extra coding, this makes the abnormality in the baby, we call it as Down syndrome. So for Edward, it would be an extra coding on 18, right? So this is how you just change the words, the things, they stay the same, right? You people should learn by doing one breaking bad news of ovarian cancer. You can do the breaking bad news of endometrial cancer, cervical cancer, breast cancer, and me cancer. Mm -hmm. Because it's just the, the change of the words. That's it. <laughs> Am I clear, everyone? Are you guys with me? All the content yes, I've read, but the only thing is that I want your, I want the efforts in the right direction from the very start, please. Sidra, miss you so much, my dear. This was just in the, this exam, my dear. So I was just discussing with them. See you in the live session, sweetie. All the circuits, all the long cases, uh, dearest, I have made a separate schedule and uh, we'll do it from the start in the regular. So I, I can understand your concern and we'll just see you in the live session, sweetheart. Thank you very much. Thank you. Am I clear, please? Did you get, get the answer for it? Uh, Samina, I have one more question. Why did you ask my husband's blood group? Ma'am, uh, because if this some patient is negative blood group so and husband has negative. Why is that true? When mine was A positive, what is the reason of asking the husband's blood group? You were so interested. I was concerned that you asked, may I know your and husband blood group? Your answer should have been, your question should have been, may I know your blood group? If she says A negative, the second question is, may I know your husband's blood group? If I'm saying A positive, is there any reason to know the husband's blood group? No, ma'am. No? So, uh, you no, know, we have to deal with the patient. We don't have to just ask everything which is in the, in the template. We have to mold ourselves according to the station. Yes. Am I right? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, one more question, ma'am. When, uh, when we will jump to uh, CVS and uh, uh, fluid test, we when we will say that we will send you or refer you fetal medicine unit either yes, after taking... First step after this suspicion is that we are going to refer you to the expert team of doctors, which are going to assess and confirm. The confirmation would be yes. with your consent, the needle testing, we can take the sample from the afterbirth or we can take the sample from the fluid around the baby. Okay. Right, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, if she will ask what happened to my pregnancy, well, should we say that uh, termination of pregnancy, ma'am? Mrs. Mary, this... Mrs. Mary, it's absolutely your choice. And we as the team of doctors will be here to support you in that. With regards to yes. your decision, we've got two options, either to continue the pregnancy or to end up the pregnancy. Both have got certain advantages and disadvantages. We will give you all the details. We will give you the patient information leaflet, the steps to end up the pregnancy and the consequences of continuing the pregnancy as well. You can discuss with your partner and take a decision. Whatever you will decide, we'll support your decision. Is that okay for you? See? Yes, ma'am. Yes, oh, ma'am. I see. So clear in your concepts. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this then, is the, when this is the flow which I want. Yes, my love. Please. Ma'am, yeah. ma when so there is a question, when anomaly, you have to answer everyone, please. Yes. Ma'am, when there is an anomaly like Ann and Kefli, 
Uh, and mm-hmm. then patient ask what will happen to me what will happen to my pregnancy and she is crying then uh, can we say that it will be terminated no even then if she wants to continue we can't force her to terminate we always give the option of continuation and ending up and then carefully i've got a complete station for you don't worry because it's an exam okay. station i'm going to do i think it's even in the circuit one in the first session i think we have it Okay, so we'll do the BPM. Because it's a, everything. I've made one algorithm of NN carefully. You just have to follow so that algorithm. Nice, so no worries at all. No worries at all, please. I always say that you guys are responsibility. You just pass this exam. Just promise me your hard work. I'll put in extra efforts. We'll go an extra mile for you guys. But what I need is the hard work from the very start, understanding the requirement of the exam, and just, just do it, please. 